All right, so uh, recently I uh, kind of got into a Resident Evil mood. They, they straight up dragged me into the mods to play with the filth that surrounds me. All thanks to the new RE4 remake. Uh, I had a lot of fun making the main channel video. So again, uh, I recommend you go check it out. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good video. And at the start of that video, I do a, a short little rundown of a bunch of the previous RE games. You know, uh, quickly going through all of them. And of course, I had to get some footage for all of the games I was talking about which uh, went well until I arrived at two games at, uh, at particular that kind of caught me off guard. The first one was Reverse, which is a weird little game in the franchise. It's a sort of a multiplayer versus game set into the Resident Evil universe where you choose a character, uh, you spawn in the map, you fight each other and when you die you turn into a wacky infected like a Jack Baker from RE7 or Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. It's not very good. I played this game for longer than I had to simply because I was just interested, but man, it's just really, really not good in the slightest. There are like a total of three maps. You have this like really dumb like a dotted filter over everything but, but most importantly it's just super super clunky and unresponsive i was actually getting mad over this dumb stupid little title but uh, still because my brain doesn't fully function i swear to god i have some sort of parasite inside of it for some reason i, I still got all the achievements like god damn someone got my brain out of my head and like erased all the wrinkles off it making the smoothest brain imaginable but that was kind of it for our reverse probably will never revisit this game ever i'm surprised people actually play it because i was able to get games pretty easily like like it's pretty obvious but capcom made this title for a really really quick buck because the amount of reused assets is kind of nutty and you know thankfully you can get this game for free by buying uh, resident evil village which th that's a pretty good game on its own at least so if you buy this game you, you don't get completely scammed you know and that was about it for our reverse i i straight up moved on because the, there really isn't that much here to talk about but uh, here is it where it gets really really goddamn wacky okay i had to get a small amount of footage for resident evil resistance and just like our reverse like nobody even knows that this game exists but looking at the footage of this at least it looked somewhat competent it didn't look amazing or anything but you know it looks well made and you might be wondering well, why does a game like this even exist but uh, just like our reverse where if you got this game for buying resident evil village you got resident evil resistance for buying resident evil 3 remake and i think the reason for that is because the re3 remake is short like th this is a really really short game you can fully complete it in like four hours i guess Resident Evil Resistance was supposed to complement that $60 purchase by making a replayable multiplayer game, which is kind of weird. The, the whole game really feels like Dead by Daylight. Well, uh, not exactly. It's basically four humans against one weirdo. The, the four humans have to escape and the one like little weirdo has to prevent them by spawning spawning in zombies and other special infected honestly it really isn't a bad idea and the character models don't even look half bad in the steam banner though you have this one guy who looks goofy as hell what the hell is wrong with him man he looks like he's made out of plastic so i started downloading resident evil resistance and i really wasn't looking forward to playing it because the reviews on steam are mostly negative with like a 40% a, a positive review score which, which is pretty goddamn bad but here I was playing the game I was playing peak and the tutorial they did a pretty good job of explaining what the game was about and when I finished it I didn't know why so many people hated this game it was somewhat good and and fun you might say so I tried to jump into a multiplayer game and then it just it, it hit me instantly this game is completely unplayable, not because of a glitch, not because everyone is hacking, not because the player base is dead, well I, I guess it kinda is, but you can't even get into a game. If you have ever bought RE3, that means you have RE Resistance and you can check this out right now, well on, on PC at least. I don't know how it is on console because well I don't really play on console, but if you try to join a public lobby, 
it just completely glitches out your whole menu and you're unable to do anything except Alt F4. Literally, you can't do anything else, not even press escape. And of course, I was really confused when I saw this, so I started looking up information and apparently there is one guy, a sweaty little gremlin troll that found some sort of exploit and is making it so that nobody can play this game. The game itself is still completely playable in a private lobby if you have four other friends, but public lobbies are completely glitched because of a little bozo and I think that's just absolutely fascinating in some aspect. Of course, it, it, it sucks. This dude is literally wasting his life making a game unplayable and, and the weirdest thing about all of this is that he's been doing it for over a year now and Capcom has done nothing about it. They don't even bat an eye towards this. Uh, this actually kind of reminds me of, uh, I recently made a video about achievements, yes, please stay mad. And I, I shortly talked about uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, where there was one achievement where you had to play five multiplayer games. and. I thought this achievement was uh, unobtainable because the multiplayer was completely dead, like nobody was playing it. But apparently the reason why it is completely unplayable is because there is some sort of like exploit making it so that, that you just straight up can't play this game. Like everyone just gets an error when you load up a map, which is... Why are life service games like this, man? This sucks. Now, of course, uh, these games are not great to begin with. Uh, there's a reason why they got dropped support. And I mean, in Call of Duty case, they, they, they print out a new Call of Duty every single year. But I still kind of want to see what these games are about. I want to see what garbage they managed to shovel together. But instead, there is just like a single little goofball making it so nobody can play it for over a year now and Capcom does absolutely nothing about it. Not not even bad an eye towards it. All of these issues can probably be really easily fixed with dedicated servers, especially in COD's position. So many old Call of Duties are, are just filled to the brim with hackers and if you give those tools to the community, you give them moderation tools, the game can actually become somewhat playable because the community will pick it up when Activision moves on to the next cash cow. I think TF2, as abandoned as it might be, at least they got that part sorted out. That game will always be playable because of community servers. So yeah, um, that's really all I want to talk about. This, this Resident Evil game, Resident Evil Resistance, I don't know man, it's just really fascinating to me. It's fascinating to me that Capcom made a multiplayer game out of a Resident Evil game and then just abandoned it a year later and then made a new one. Like, what a waste of time, money and effort. I can't get over it. So yeah, once again, that's really all I want to talk about. Uh, go check out Resident Evil Resistance and see how broken it is. I don't know. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>